Hi, this is Privateer Station, and today we bring you another special a phone conversation between a prisoner of war captured by Ukraine and his mother that appeared on Vladimir Zolkin channel about seven days ago. Brought to you by the voice of Nadia Dan. Enjoy. Hello? 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 How are you? I'm waiting for my son. From where? From the captivity? Why? What are you talking about? I've been everywhere. I was protesting in uh, Minister of Defense. Please return him. He will never be, uh, he will never go to Ukraine again. He will never go to war. And poor our people, they're not, they're innocent. Your poor son is sitting here with a smile. And on the question if he is an occupant, he doesn't know. But for eight months he's been running with the Kalashnikov and killing our people. He didn't kill anybody. Do you want to talk to him? Very, very, very much. The conversation will be recorded and published. I know, I've, I'm watching all your videos. I'm just hoping to see his interview. Are you on Zolkin? I'm not on Zolkin. He's my friend. We're together. But I'm watching it there. I'm not good at computers and telephones. Okay, talk. Speak. Hold it. I'm not going to hold it for you. Dear, finally, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to help you. Son, I'm waiting for you. Only mother can help you. I will do everything. I have applied for the exchange. Hello, Sasha. We're waiting for you. Mama, have you applied for exchange? For exchange? Yes, I have done everything. Have you applied for exchange? Yes. And what about the lists? What are they saying? Now they're saying that you are on the list. I was trying to do it via the governor on the 16th, on the 16th of September. What's wrong with the internet? I can't hear you. You are on the you are on the list. You're the closest to exchange. But there are people who are trying to stop me. Son, please hope, hope, trust in me. I trust in you. I believe in you. I will do everything. I will walk for you. You don't need to you don't need to be here. I see you in my dreams every night. That we're running and we don't know. Our granny doesn't know anything. Please don't cry. Tell them that I love them all. Please hold on. Nobody's torturing me here. Everything's okay. Pardon? No, no, no tortures, nothing. I'm praying for all the soldiers. Everything's okay. I'm alive. I'm healthy. The guys who returned from the captivity, they said that everything's okay, that you're being fed and that you're treated well. 
son. Everything's okay, mom. Please hold on. The, the guys who were in the captivity. Very good. Everything's okay, mom. We're waiting and hopefully we're waiting for the exchange. And do they say anything about the dates? It depends on... It doesn't depend on me. The Russia says it depends on Ukraine. Tell her. And here we say that they say that it depends on that Russia doesn't cannot manage to send people. You can't imagine what I went through to put you on the list. A month and a half, they didn't want to put you on the list. They say that you are uh, at war. It's terrible. So they think that they're um, fighting. No, when we when we when we go there, uh, they say we know, but when we apply for a list, they didn't want to put you on the list, and that the contract was prolonged automatically. Let, let let them let them think whatever they want. <laughs> Bitches. I will tell them that. Please, son, come back. Can I ask you a question? Yes. How many sons like that must die in Ukraine to make you understand? Not from your side, not from our side, sons shouldn't die. Our government doesn't want to do anything for people. They should have sent their own children, but not our poor children. Our soldiers are innocent. And we are praying for your soldiers too. You know what's the difference between your soldiers and ours? What? What's the difference? That he is an occupant, like fascists in 1941 in 39 but he's an occupant but he doesn't realize that he came to kill us and our soldiers defending our country number one tell her about the casualties around 70,000 73,000 casualties and 200 Wounded, 200,000 wounded. They're all liars. The mobilization was announced because of the casualties. So I'm asking... You, you have slaves, so I'm asking how many thousands of your sons to make you go out and protest to your czar? So how many do you need? A million? It doesn't depend on the czar. And it's all the government. It depends on you. He hear me, if you watch our channels, you, you've seen that we have 500 interviews and everybody says it doesn't depend on us, like you, like your husband, if people like you and your husband went out to protest, I went out to protest, I went out to protest to put him on the list at least, they were trying to threaten me to arrest me but they didn't. I, I went out. But what, what I'm talking about, the whole people, crowds. So let's stop all that and get our slaves and go home. Well, that's the difference. That's the difference between 
You are slaves of the system. Until Putin is the czar, he doesn't care about people. Do you understand? I understand. That's why he was not on the list. We'll sit and live with it. Okay, finish it up and I have nothing to say. Okay, mom, mom. Okay, come and take him. I, I agree. Tell him where to go. Do you have an international passport? No, I don't. Do you know that in your constitution uh, it is said that you can go anywhere you want? Okay, I can meet you at any border. What border? Any border. We, we can go anywhere. We will not be allowed to go. Why not? You have a constitution and what about the freedom of movement and all? You're free people. And how come you're not allowed to go? And nobody will come and nobody has come. Come, I promise you personally, I will meet you personally. And I will meet you. We will go to our authorities and try and ask them to exchange your son. You can meet him. No, I want to exchange him. Okay, bring our soldier then. Who will give it to? Who will give him to me? Well, what do you expect to ex exchange? Well, what what do you want us to do? Just to give him? Well, you can take me. We don't need you. He's a criminal. He's been running with the Kalashnikov here. So if he is not exchanged, he will spend 15 years in prison. He is um, breaching our law. He's not breaching the law. How old are you? 23? You will see him when he's 38. Don't worry. It depends on you. Mom. Okay, that's it. Everything's okay. I love you. Send them, send everybody hello. There will be an exchange. Son, please hold on. I believe I know that they're not touching you. Everything's okay, mom. I'm kissing you, love you. I love you very much. Bye.